Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my summer book haul for you guys. These are all books that I've picked up basically since the last book haul that I did, I think was in like April or maybe May. And after I've acquired all these books, I realized that I really just need to stop buying books until November when it's my birthday and I'm going to New York City and stuff like that. So I basically have just decided that I won't be acquiring any more books that I know of at least until that point so I figured that I might as well just record a book haul for you guys. There's no particular order to this, I just have a pile of books here and I'm going to be showing them off to you from top to bottom. <laughs> so the first one I have here is Why I Write by George Orwell. This is part of Penguin's Great Ideas series. This is one of Orwell's essays that talks about writing and the subtitle to this is Political Language is Designed to Make Lies Sound Truthful and Murder Respectable and to Give an Appearance of Solidarity to Pure Wind. So I picked this up because I'm always interested in picking up books that talk about writing and different types of writing and again why I write. Um, and I love George Orwell's writing style so I was very excited to have this. I found this when I was out doing a bookshop crawl for a book riot video that I did. I'll link to that down in the description so you guys can check that out. So yeah I was very excited to see this because I feel like I don't really see these books in a whole lot of different bookstores. The next two books are books that I picked up on a trip that I recently went on. I went out to the East Coast to visit my cousin and we went traveling around a little bit. And so the first book that I picked up was In the Country by Mia Alvar. I picked this up at Joseph Fox bookstore I want to say it's called in Philadelphia and I read it basically during that trip and afterwards and I talked about this in my June wrap-up so yeah I liked it. Short stories aren't always my favorite thing but this was an enjoyable one to pick up. The next book that I picked up I got at the bookstore that's on Princeton University's campus that I cannot remember right now, so it's with an L. Anyways, um, it's The Beautiful Things That Heaven Bears by Dinoa Mengetsu. This bookstore had a bunch of different tables that had books on sale, and so this one was only like $5 for this paperback, and I had never heard of it before, but I'd heard of this author before, so I just like looked it up on Goodreads really quick, and it has pretty good ratings, so I'm very excited to give this one a try. From what I can tell, this follows an Ethiopian man who immigrates to the United States and is running this grocery store in this predominantly African American community. The grocery store is like failing and he only has like two other friends who are also African immigrants and I believe it's just like about their life maybe. I'm really bad at synopses and book hauls because I haven't read the book yet so sorry about that. The next book that I have is one that was sent to me by the publisher and I'm super excited to have it. It is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. It's her new series that's coming out this November. I believe that this one is supposed to be an Alice in Wonderland type of fairy tale retelling. It follows the Queen of Hearts I'm assuming. This is one I probably won't pick up until about the fall when it's closer to the release date but I'm very excited because I've been hearing pretty positive things about this one so far. The next two books I picked up right around the time of BEA, I was at this independent bookstore for a little like cocktail hour type of thing during the week of BEA and they're a bookstore that really emphasizes books in translation and I was there for the best translated books award cocktail hour so I also wanted to pick up a book because of that and so the book that I picked or the two books that I picked up are by the same author Yuri Herrera and that's Science Preceding the End of the World and The Transmigration of Bodies. I've already done a review of this one so I will link to that down below. I got this from the library originally and just absolutely loved it so I knew I wanted to pick up a physical copy of it and then when I saw that he they had another one of his books I picked that one up as well and I am so excited to read more from him. If you aren't aware Yuri Herrera is a Mexican author and this one follows a girl who illegally immigrates into the United States because she's looking for her brother who also illegally immigrated into the United States. I believe that this one has to do with like gangs in Mexico but again I'm not really sure because I haven't read it yet. The next one is probably the advanced reader copy that I am the most excited about and that is Certain Dark Things by Silvia Moreno Garcia. If you have been with my channel for more than a year you know that last year I read Signal to Noise. It's sitting right there. Absolutely adored it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, my best read of last year and so I knew that she had a new book coming out this fall. This one comes out in October and they sent me a copy of it and I'm so excited to read it. This will probably be happening in like August, September most likely. I don't know a whole lot about it except that it takes place in Mexico, specifically in Mexico City, and it has vampires. That's all I really need though. The next two books are also advanced reader copies that I picked up at a BEA party. There was a bookstore that was having another sort of like cocktail hour sort of thing and they had a bunch of ARCs from different small presses. It was a small press event. So I picked up two that sounded interesting to me. This is Among Strange Victims by Daniel Saldana Paris, translated by Christina McSweeney. This one is from Coffeehouse Press. Yes. 
and it already came out on June 7th, so I'm behind on this. Again, not one that I know a whole lot about, but I'm interested in reading more books and translation, so I should probably pick this one up pretty soon. And then the other one I got is One of Us is Sleeping by Josephine Clogard, translated from the Danish by Martin Atkin. So yeah, this is apparently the English debut of this author who is really well known in Denmark. Yes, Denmark, that's what Danish means. And this one is out from Open Letter, and I believe this one is already out as well. Yeah, this one came or came out July 12th, so if you are interested in this one, you can look it up as well. And the final book I picked up at the bookstore just because whenever I'm at independent bookstores, I just always buy a book, but I saw this and knew I just had to pick it up, and that's the 40 Rules of Love by Leif Shafak. I read Honor, which is right here, earlier this year, and it was the best book I had read up until that point. Homegoing, unfortunately, beat it out. And so I have a review of that if you're interested. I also read and really enjoyed The Architect's Apprentice, and so as I'm going to bookstores, if I find one of Leif Shafak's books, I'm picking it up. And so this is the next one that I've picked up. From what I can tell, it takes place in two time periods, 13th century Turkey and modern day Massachusetts, I believe but I just adore Alicia Shafak's writing and I'm very excited to read another one of her books. Did I say finally for the last one because I definitely have one more book that I just forgot to grab because it was sitting off to the side? That is The Singles Game by Lauren Weisberger. Lauren Weisberger is the author of The Devil's Wears Prada and that is the only book that I have read by her. I was sent this book by Quarterly. So Quarterly is the company that used to send out the Book Riot Quarterly boxes and then Book Riot sort of split ways from them and Quarterly is setting up their own. There's one that's a literary box and there's one that's a YA box. The way the quarterly box is set up is there's like one author whose book they're highlighting and then the author picks a couple other books that either influence them or they're interested in and they're interested in sharing with people, things like that. So they contacted me and they were like, hey, we want to send you some of the stuff surrounding that box. So I picked the literary one and so this is the one that they chose for the literary one, which calling it a literary box and setting Lauren Weisberger, no offense to Lauren Weisberger, but I wouldn't call your books literary. It's just like contemporary fiction, but you know, semantics I suppose. So yeah, they're going to be sending me the full quarterly box, but they sent me sort of like a sneak peek so I could see who the author is for this. So I'll have a link down below to the quarterly website if you're interested in checking out the box and subscribing for it. I believe that the July one has already shipped or it's going to be shipping this week, something along those lines. It's shipping soon. So if you're interested, check it out. So yeah, those are all of the books that I have for this book haul. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have read any of these books and you have any thoughts or opinions on them, or if you're more interested in me reading one of those books more than others. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.